Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a button in your WordPress navigation menu, just like this. So you can get people to call to action and make this link and this clickable area really stand out more for your visitors. So I could tell you to install a theme like Astra and then use one of their starter sites like Outdoor Adventure. That's actually what we set up on Dear Traveler right now. And then it's really easy because this button sort of comes with the theme and the starter site you choose. There's a lot of different options that all come with the button, but you might as well learn how to make it on your own if you're just using a default WordPress installation. So here's how to do it. All right, we're gonna first go to customize and we're gonna wanna be in our additional CSS window. All right, so once it loads, click additional CSS. All right, cool, and you can pause the video and just like rewrite the CSS if you want, but it'll probably be different for your theme. So we're gonna see how to write it on our own. Okay publish and now let's create a new menu item that we can use and that can be a custom link. So let's open your website in a new tab and now let's go to the dashboard and let's go to menus. So we're going to want to go to appearance menus and once we're here let's just add a custom link. We're just going to have this go to Google but this could go to anywhere on your site or on another site. So custom links all right, then we're just going to write in google.com and link text of button and add to menu. All right, and we're going to make sure it's all caps because that's how we do it here. All right, and then make sure you have a display location and save it. So now when we look at our site, we'll have that menu item up button and it will also be in our customized window. If we refresh it, we'll have button and we can work on button. So the first step to create this button is to visit your site on the home page and right click where you want the button to be right on top of the link text. And now click inspect. And we're using Google Chrome so everything is super WordPress friendly. Now you're going to see that the link is highlighted but the most important section is actually the link ID, the LI part. And when you highlight a specific link ID, you'll get whichever menu button we're looking at. So you could actually make a button here or here on the second link, but we obviously want the furthest to the right link. Now what you wanna do is copy down the link ID. So that's this portion that I've highlighted right now, which says menu-item-487 or whatever that number is for you, it'll most likely be different. And you can actually just copy that so that you know you get it right. All right, so now we wanna come back to our customized window make some spaces and write in a hashtag and then paste in that menu ID. So it's got to have the hashtag because it's an ID It says ID over here. And if it said class, it would just be a period. But because we're using the ID, it has to be a hashtag. So hashtag menu item 487 is what we're working with. And then we can start writing CSS. So if you don't know CSS, just follow along and then you'll know it. So open bracket enter to give ourselves some space and then the first thing we need is a border so it's going to be border colon and then some number and then pixels I just like one pixel which is how wide the border is going to be and then the word solid and then just a color so we can do a color like black or you can do a color like hashtag zero 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 which means black and then semicolon and now we've basically set up the structure for a button. All right, but it doesn't look good because it's too jagged on the edges. So let's write out border dash radius colon 10 px semicolon. Now the button's a little smoother and it's coming together. Cool, now we're getting the hang of it. And the next thing our button needs is some spacing, which is padding. So we're gonna write padding and we're gonna give it zero pixels on the top and bottom, but 15 pixels on the left and right. And if you have a typo in your CSS, then it'll all break. So make sure it's pixels. All right, so that got our padding down. Next up, the button needs a little margin so it's further away from the get fit link. So enter margin and left of the button, and then maybe five pixels. Semicolon, and maybe a little more, like nine would be good. All right, now we can leave this bracket alone and move on to a next part of the CSS. So we're gonna actually copy the selector we wrote of hashtag menu item, whatever it is for you, and then paste it right here. And after that CSS selector, I'm just gonna write out a colon and then hover. So anything that happens when you hover on this particular area will apply. 
bracket enter background dash color colon and then we need the color of our theme and you can use any color but I really like this nice pink so I'm just gonna inspect it right on top of the screen here and it should bring up the link color which is the pink you see right here just gonna copy that and then paste that in for our background color okay and then semicolon and now when we hover on the button we get a really cute pink but the text goes away so there's one more step and we actually need to copy this selector one more time and paste it down below and now when we're hovering we're gonna target the link so hover a open bracket enter and then color colon hashtag FFF for white semicolon perfect so now the button knows that when you hover on it it should have a background color of pink but the a which is the link should stay white so the link text will stay white all right that was a lot of CSS let's see what we made we're gonna publish now we're gonna come back to our beautiful demo site and we're gonna check out the button and now you can click it and it should go to another place like Google because we decided that it would go to Google but it could go to anywhere on your site like a landing page or a call to action space or even just further down the page all right guys I'll leave you with those skills right there hope you enjoyed the video because I really enjoyed making it for you and now you know how to convert your normal WordPress navigation menu into a navigation menu with a button in the header all right so if you learned anything hit that like subscribe so you get all of our next free tutorials I'm Greg Narayan, and I'll talk to you soon.